like I said, they, they call all the, all the employees uh, entrepreneurs. So I think the fact that you get called an entrepreneur instead of an employee gives you a sense of ownership. And every day that, that you walk in here, you feel that, you know, you started the company and you feel like you're, you're really part of the company. You're not necessarily working for someone else. And I think that's really cool. And uh, all of the, you know, the directors and the uh, more important people in the company, they make sure that they give a lot of space for the you know people that are coming in to grow and uh to put their ideas out there um i feel like it's very important you know to work in a space where you feel comfortable uh, putting your opinion out there and putting out the ideas on the table and but at the end of the day you have to show results you have to um, help the company grow but they do a really good job in making sure that the people here know that they're part of this Um, and i think something really cool about adventures is that um, it, we have a, a partnership um, program here in which everybody that works in a company can eventually become a partner of the company. Um, this is very common in banks and uh, big corporations like Umbev. So the fact that you can actually become an owner and own stocks of this company gives you this sense of ownership. So you go to the bathroom when you come out, you turn off the lights because you're part of this like the bill is going to come to you one day so i think that's really cool to adventures i got to experience its culture first because um, of i think two major things first i got to um hear the company culture at the podcast on spotify which i thought it was really really innovative um and i never seen this before and second when i got to sao paulo i got to talk to half of elad which is the CEO, uh, the main the main head of the company, the founder, uh, and Ricardo Diaz as well. But Ricardo, I had previous contact with it, but Rafael is like the one that I had no contact with. I was the first summer entering there, and I had total freedom to schedule time on his um, on his schedule and on his Google Calendar and just talk to him. He gave me so many tips because I want to be an entrepreneur myself in the future, and he gave me like three, four of his personal library books um, to read regarding venture capital and startups. He provided me like a whole like, like lesson on how to do investments and things like that. So um, it's very interesting because he took time out of his, out of his busy schedule to talk to me and I was not expecting that at all. Whereas in some other places, he'd be like, oh, hi, you would basically say hi to the CEO or something because there's also so many other interns, but I feel like that's when I got to see that the culture really values you as a person. Um, another thing, like another instance that happened, like he just sent us an email. Um, what was it? I think like two, three days ago. Oh, on Monday to say like to start the, the week in a good way. Like don't like, you know, just like incentivize people. And I think that's very, very important if you're working on like on automatic all the time, like you don't really get to stop and think, okay, I need to like, take care of my mental health and this, this and that. And like, he sent that on, on the email. And that's how I just know, like, he's always there. Not only him, but like, he's like the major face of the company. So that's what I feel like you can experience the horizontal, the horizontal side that I talked to you about uh, regarding company culture in adventures. <laughs>